Hello and welcome. Um, it's what, been two days, maybe, since the last video? Um, oh, excuse me. I'm tired. Ish. Um, seems Donald Trump's been impeached for a second time. Um, the day before. You probably didn't actually all know this. Mike Pence was given the warning to invoke, the warning if he does not invoke the 25th Amendment to remove Donald Trump in the last days of his presidency, he will be facing impeachment at the same time. Well, Mike Pence didn't vote the 25th Amendment, and now he's being impeached alongside Donald Trump, um, along with Donald Trump's uh, admin administration as well. Today, in a bipartisan way, the House demonstrated that no one is above the law, not even the President of the United States. That Donald Trump is a clear and present danger to our country, and that once again, we honored our oath of office to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help us God. And now, I sadly, and with her heart broken over what this means to our country, of a president who incite insurrection will sign the engrossment of the article of impeachment. Yes, what you heard was Nancy Pelosi speaking on Trump's stark second impeachment trial hangs over Biden and Republicans. Uh, that's on CNN. I will link it down below. Uh, Donald Trump's unique second impeachment sealed history's verdict on a corrupt and disgraced presidency. Hmm. Well... Who could have seen this? Oh, yeah, right. This Australian. Along with everyone else. Before Donald Trump even got into office. One of my videos was, wasn't Donald Trump going to be the worst president of the United States? And look what happened. First impeachment was over withholding money for information on Joe Biden, as in like fake information on Joe Biden, and what happened? The Republicans voted to not impeach him. Voted to not impeach or remove Donald Trump from office or such. Especially when we had the Mueller report, but no, Bill Barr comes out and says, "Oh, it." It's not this, there's nothing there and everything else. Um, excuse me, Bill Barr. You're supposed to send an uncensored version of that report to Congress. Now, that report's going to be coming out in full. Uncensored in it all. Which would actually make Donald Trump the enemy of the people. Quite literally. Because, A... If Trump doesn't, Trump said he agreed to a few questions in writing, but that's it, and the answers were stupid. Like, literally stupid answers. Now I'm going to play the um, Trump administration is accused of breaking the law. Stands summoned by the Senate to answer is, the accusations you're only hearing against the him. Donald words, Trump was not the video itself. on more questions about Ukraine. Quiet. You just have to take a look at the pictures. You just have to take a look at the polls. You see, I don't need anybody's help. The senators were sworn in for the trial. So help you God. Explosive new allegations emerged from Ukrainian businessman Lev Parnas, who says he worked with the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, 
to pressure Ukraine for dirt on Democrat Joe Biden. He says Donald Trump knew. That was the most important thing is for him to stay out for another four years and keep the fight going. I mean, there was no other reason for doing it. I don't know. I don't know, Carlos, other than I guess I had uh, pictures taken, which I do with thousands of people. He's lying. He's lying. Lev Parnas is willing to testify in the impeachment trial, but it's yet to be decided if witnesses will be allowed. Democrats want them. The president doesn't. Well, I think it should go very quickly. It's a hoax. Adding fuel to the Democrats' demands is a ruling from the U.S. Government Accountability Office, which says the Trump administration broke the law by delaying aid payments to Ukraine. However, they have no power to prosecute. This reinforced... So, that was the Trump administration accused of breaking the law that you heard. Which Trump has done. And Trump's little speech at the border wall in Texas... Um, let's just say it was more of a PR stunt, yet backfired considerably a whole lot. And you're probably wondering, what do you mean by a whole lot? Well, PGA is in the Pro Golf Association, or well, the Professional Golf Association, actually went, we're pulling out, we're pulling from going to Trump's, both of Trump's golf courses. That's a huge blow. Um, there's contracts. This is virtually what happens. New York City joins PGA major banks in counting in cutting ties with Trump organization after the Capitol Hill riot. And Quite frankly, they should. Uh, Deutsche Bank just cut ties to Donald Trump. And... Because I think Trump owes more than what? What is it? Just over three hundred million dollars. Trump has outstanding loans with Deutsche Bank, according to the president's financial disclosure documents. The president has borrowed tens of millions of dollars for Trump National Doral. He's got results in South Florida. Deutsche Bank has also provided loans for the Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago and the Trump International Hotel in Washington, which opened in 2016. Yeah. Uh, if you're staying at either Trump, ho Trump Hotel... Trump International Hotel slash Tower in Chicago or the Trump International Hotel in Washington, you might want to check your bank accounts. You might be missing a few extra thousand dollars plus. Um, not much. So, if Donald Trump owes a... Okay, here we go. 
Uh, yep. $340 million in free loans, according to a person with knowledge of the matter. Deutsche Bank has been Trump's primary business lender since 1990s and has owed about $340 million in free loans, according to one, according to a person with knowledge of the matter. Well, if Donald Trump does owe over or about, about or over $340 million, wouldn't his $2.5 billion bank account be able to handle that? I mean, it would be just a drop in the bucket. Sure, he would go down, what, to 2.2 something billion dollars, but he'd still be classified as a billionaire, but he's actually losing money now. Um, where is it? More than two decades ago, Donald Trump, New York developer, found refuge at Deutsche Bank after a syndicate of lenders, including predecessors, firms to JP Morgan Chase and Citigroup, cut ties with him. Yeah, there are two more that cut ties with Donald Trump. Um, the Trump brand has been severely tarnished. He's toxic from a public relations standpoint. Wow, gee, who said that? Oh, yeah, me. In my videos before, it's like you go and go and look and go look up all the information, and then look at what he's actually tried to do. I'm just going to look at Trump's biggest accomplishments and failures from his one-term presidency. Uh. Um, let's see. Accomplishments, reshaping the federal jurisdiction, space force, tax reform, bullshit. Because the tax reform is actually for the top 1% of billionaires, those who can actually triple, or double, double, triple, quadruple, or triple their wealth. While those under that, those who aren't millionaires slash billionaires, lose everything. Um, yeah, this accomplishment, the First Step Act, everything is being null and void when Trump get on, um, on everything. Because the only thing that would actually be really accomplished to his name would be the defeating ISIS and killing Abu Bakr al Baghdadi. No, I'm not endorsing terrorism or anything. It's actually an accomplishment that he's actually done. That would probably be the only accomplishment he would have to his name. Because the first step back, the tax reform, the Space Force is now actually being looked into. And the reshaping of the federal jurisdiction is also being looked into. Um, ch failures. Charlottesville and George Floyd. Yeah. Condolences to George Floyd's family. America's global image is in shambles. That's a failure. Hey, remember the um, 2020 summit and such? Yeah. Uh, family separations and deaths of migrant children. Yeah, hey, remember the um, video of a teenager who was actually sick and then just died in his cell with someone else and 
they all thought, oh yeah, he's he's fine, he's asleep. No, he actually died. Considering that, A, it's virtually separating families is against the Human Rights Charter, which it means it's human rights abuse and violating international law by the UN. I wouldn't be surprised if the UN actually stand, steps in and go, right, Donald Trump, sorry you're being arrested on these charges, blah, blah, blah. Um, China's administration zero tolerance policy on illegal border crossing had led to the separation of at least 5,500 5, families and saw children placed in cages. Cages. You probably go, oh, but Obama did that. Yeah, but he kept them together. He kept the families together. And plus, those cages were actually holding cells so that they can actually be moved into proper spots. Not. Oh, let's just keep him in cages. No, they were actually being moved onto other places so that they can apply for American citizenship. Donald Trump's like, oh, no, sorry. You're not going to get your American citizenship. You're just going to be put into a cage. You're going to be separated. For Christ's sake, he, let me put this in perspective. Newborn baby. Separated from its mother. Under Donald Trump. That was actually against human laws, human rights. Because newborn baby needed its mother. Iran's here in Afghanistan. That's a failure. And I am talking about the unilaterally withdrawal from the U.S. The U.S. from the 2015 nuclear deal in May 2018 has induced chaos throughout the Middle East, which actually led to the death of one of the top Ukrainian nuclear scientists. I should say Iraq, actually. Iran scientists. My bad on that. I get things mixed up at times. Replacing the Affordable Care Act, aka Obamacare, that failed. The impeachment? Trump was impeached by the House of Representatives. The House approved two articles of impeachment against Trump, one for abuse of power over his dealings with Ukraine, and one for obstruction of Congress over his efforts to stonewall the impeachment inquiry. Trump urged Ukraine to launch investigations into political rivals as he seriously withheld about $400 million US in Congress to approve military aid from the country, which is fighting an ongoing war against pro Russian separatists. Yeah. That war is about Russia building the bridge into Ukraine and claiming where the bridge actually ends. Here's the biggest failure, the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah. Condolences to the family, friends who lost loved ones and such. Because he was deliberately misleading the public. The US economy. It failed under Trump. Trump often took credit for the robust U.S. economy before the pandemic, ignoring the much that ignoring that much of the growth during began during the Obama administration. So this is a president who actually wants to be a dictator, who actually doesn't care about what came before him. Yeah, he goes, he's 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 greater than Abraham. Lincoln. No, Abraham Lincoln's greater than Donald Trump. Hell, even George Washington, the first George Washington, is better than Donald Trump and such. Failure, contracting COVID-19. Yeah, I remember all those um, rallies he had. Yeah, those were classified as super spreader events. Whoopsie. 
demonstrating democracy. Yeah, hey, remember that the debate before the election happened last year, where you told the proud the proud boys to stand back and stand by. Yeah, that failed, didn't it? Uh, not to mention the black Li during the Black Lives Matter protests, he actually had peaceful protesters gas, so it's just so that he could walk across to a church, hold a Bible upside down for a photo op. Here we go. This is from 2016. Donald Trump's 13 business biggest business failures. Um, Trump Airlines, Trump Beverages, Trump the Game, poorly marketed, I might add. Um, so in this is for Trump the Game. In 1988, Trump teamed up with Milton Bradley to create Trump the Game, despite its fleshy TV ad. The game only sold 800,000 copies, less than half the 2 million units the company expected to move. When it was discontinued in 1990, Trump chalked the game's dismal sales up to the fact that it might have been too complicated. That apparently didn't deter Hasbro from releasing a rebranded version of the game in 2004 to capitalize on Trump's apprentice-related property. Trump said he expected the Hasbro version of his game to sell more copies than the original, but it too quickly went out of circulation. <laughs> I mean, come on. Trump the game. Worst game ever. Trump casinos. Um, Trump has filed bankruptcy in Atlantic City properties alone three times. Uh, first was his, the Trump Taj Mahal in 1991, which was $3 billion in debt. Ooh, after just one year in operation. He was back in bankruptcy court in 2004, and not just for the Trump Taj Mahal, but for the Trump Rana and Trump Plaza Casinos, which also, which along with a riverboat casino in India, had a debt burden of some $1.8 billion. After the bankruptcy, Trump Hotels and Casino Resorts Reorganized his Trump Entertainment Results increment. Four years later, Trump Entertainment Results missed an interest payment on a $53.1 million bond. The company declared bankruptcy, and this time Trump stepped down as its chairman. Yeah, see, this is Trump's PR at its worst. Trump Magazine. It didn't survive the financial crisis folding by, 20, by 2009. Trump style and Trump world. Yeah. If you want to act and look like Trump, that is. Uh, Trump mortgage. Yeah, that fails. Completely. Um, the company never paid a... Ooh. Oh, dear. This is according to the Washington Post. The company never paid a $298,274 US dollar judgment in owed a former employee, nor a $3,555 in it owed in unpaid taxes. Wow. And let me just, uh, I'm just going to grab this. Uh, and that's the first one. Uh, Trump tech, Trump stakes literally failed. Two hundred dollars for a, a kilo. Trump's travel site. Yeah, GoTrump.com was a granular version of an existing product, the travel booking website, Travel Odyssey. In this case, it launched in two thousand six to low expectations. Are we out of for us, your research told the Washington Post it was a vanity site and wouldn't make much money. He was right, it folded in 2007. 
Trump never gave up the URL though today it directs to back to his campaign website. Trump's comms community or company I should say. Trump's registered trademark for Trumpnet under the category of corporate telephone communication service in 1990. Whatever it was going to be, it never took off the ground. The trademark has been abandoned in 1992. That, that failed. Trump Tower Tampa? The 52 story Trump Tower in Tampa wasn't conceived of or proposed or drafted by Donald Trump. He just sold the use of his name to developers of the $300 million condo project for a cool $2 million. If the condo project is worth three hundred million, I wouldn't take two mil. I don't know, I'd take fifty mil for that. They in turn collected down payments from individual buyers drawn in by the Trump mystique after the project went belly up in two thousand eight, it listed two scale models and some office furniture worth a grand total of three thousand five hundred dollars as its only assets in the bankruptcy court. Buyers sued Trump for misleading them. He eventually settled in some cases for as little as 11,115 US dollars with plaintiffs who had lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um. I think Trump should actually pay those hundreds of thousands of dollars back. Considering that it was his name on the um, condo that he actually only wanted two million for. Uh, Trump University, also known as Trump here in Turf, Trump University was a series of wealth building seminars for which students paid as much as nearly as much as forty as 35,000 for mentorships that would supposedly get them access to Trump's secrets of success. Instead of the hand-picked instructors Trump promised, these seminars were delivered by motivational speeches, often without degrees, and sometimes with criminal wreck. Okay, this just proves Trump is nothing more than a criminal mob boss. Yeah, criminal records. I'll link that down below. According to his FEC filings, Trump brought in 11,819 from the Trump administration last year. He's now the subject of two class lawsuits in California related to Trump University and a third suit for $40 million brought by New York Attorney, Ger Attorney General Eric Snyderman. Hmm. Well, Trump's Trump is, what, $2.5 million rich. We've subtracted $350 million. So there's $2.2 billion left. Subtract that $40 million from it. There's, I mean, he's still covered for $2.2 billion. Oh, and then every other thing that has popped up, including the... Uh, let's see, what is it? Oh, yeah, that's right. The $450 million from the hundreds of thousands condo. So that would total to, what, $500 million? Well, Trump's down to $1.7 billion. Trump vodka, lost furniture, and I do mean it was a failed because it was, um, it wasn't, um, let's have a look at the price. Oh, fucking shit. Um, Really, Trump Funko was sold for thirty dollars US per bottle, but on eBay the price, the drop has quite literally gained a second win. Reports mentioning empty bottles of Trump vodka can now be purchased for twenty five dollars US to a hundred dollars, while those sealed net as much as a thousand dollars. That's from uh, what is it? 
ago or something. Um, lost future earnings from calling Mexicans rapists? Yep. <laughs> you don't want to call anyone rapists. Mr. Trump, especially when A, you go, you're in office you're, and you call them rapists? And that was, yeah. So, what can we actually take away from all this? Well, Mike Pence is being impeached alongside Donald Trump. That is a given fact. And no news network would, is actually reporting on it because they didn't actually didn't have um, the information that I was talking with a friend about. Um, U.S. House press resolution asking Pence to remove Donald Trump from office. He was actually told either remove or be impeached. Mike Pence chose the leader. Twenty fifth Amendment is not means of punishment or you separation. Invoking the Twenty fifth Amendment in such a manner would set a terrible precedent. Pence said in a letter to Pelosi. Yeah. Um. Going against con Congress, Mike Pence, you are virtually going to be impeached now. Mike Pence is going to be impeached alongside Donald Trump. Um, Donald Trump Jr., on the other hand, is actually wanted for inciting the insurrection violence along with Rudy Giuliani. Trump has told staff not to pay originally only over irritation at being impeached again. Um, this is from Deadline. Really, I say his trial by comment remark before Capitol Hill violence was Game of Thrones. Reference. Yet, what happened? They all took it to heart, didn't they, Mr. Giuliani? They all took it to heart and just went for it. I'm sorry, Mr. Really Giuliani, but you just virtually hanged yourself with your own words. Um, my back pillow that I use, with my lower back when I'm sitting on my bed to play um, a few games and such and talk with friends. Um, just trying to find the... Uh, let's see, oh, we got the transcript from the 6th of Ju 6th, January 6th.
Oh. Oh, I could actually nitpick through this. Oh, this is perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Trump, for the boatload of misinformation that I can actually just go... Let's see. I'll just pick... Uh, let's see. Um, oh, here's one. By the way, does anyone believe that Joe had 80 million votes? Does anyone believe that? He had 80 million computer votes. False and misleading right there. And I do mean, that is false misleading information right there. And then he goes on, you could take third world countries, just take a look, take a look at, take third world countries, the elections are more or less. <laughs> Some, yes, but others, no, because they're under a dictatorship. North Korea doesn't have Fair elections? No, they're under a dictatorship. Russia has fair elections, but they're more under a dictatorship. Um, Saudi Arabia. Oh, look, it's the king. Who, king and prince who have, just, who have violated the human rights charter so many times that they should actually be removed from power. Um, I will link this below, because this transcript is just bullshit. This is complete and utter bullshit, this speech is. This speech was what, over an hour long or something? And it is just full of complete and utter bullshit. Oh, look, I found Donald Trump Jr.'s 2020 Republican National Convention speech. I'm um, after the one from twenty from this year. Ooh. Uh, USA Today dot com had a fact check. Trump's speech helped set violence in Capitol Hill, too. Um, actually, let me just bring this video up. Yeah. Um, footage shows Donald Trump, Ivanka and Donald Trump Jr., Eric Trump and others watching the U.S. Capitol riots caused by Donald Trump on January 6th during the Washington, D.C. rally near the White House. And this was the actual video from Trump Jr. himself. Which means, quite frankly, Trump Jr. just screwed himself over. And I will link that video. I will link that video in the description below. But anyway, ending here, thank you for watching. Comment down below. On, um...
Uh, let's see, I'm just trying to find a bit more. Nope, there's no more. So, comment down below what you think of the second impeachment of Donald Trump, along with Joe Biden and the whole administration, really. And we'll see what happens from there. I mean, everyone's watching. The world is watching this. So anyway, thank you for watching.